And some of the most outspoken students from Stoneman Douglas High School who formed the Never Again movement after the shooting were the feature of a powerful 60 Minutes piece with correspondent Sharon Alfonsi. CBS4's Diane Magnum reports. These students first reacting to the news that prosecutors here in South Florida plan to seek the death penalty against shooter Nicholas Cruz. Good. Good why? Good that he's seeking the death penalty for Nick Cruz. I don't want to think about Nick Cruz. I think the more we think about him, the more he wins. That being said, I, I, in a way, I disagree with Emma. Let him rot forever. Let him rot in jail. I want to see him rot forever, as Cameron just said. But when we pursue the death penalty, this will be kept in the media for much longer. I just don't want him to get what he wants. I want him to suffer no matter what. The death of one person, as terrible of a person as he is, cannot outweigh the death of the 17. The kids also saying that right after the shooting, they realized if real change were to happen, it had to come from them. We're the mass shooting generation. That's, I, I was born. We're the mass shooting generation. I was born months after Columbine. I'm 17 years old and we've had 17 years of mass shootings. A sentiment echoed by the mother of another Stoneman Douglas activist, Emma Gonzalez. Um, you know, please tell Emma we're behind her, which I appreciate, but we should have been in front of her. I should have been in front of her. We all adults, we should have dealt with this 20 years ago. Diane Magnum, CBS4 This Morning.